continuing study of dendrology, we're going to look at three different maples I found on my walk today in the woods. So the first one we're going to look at is the red maple. Now we have a lot of maples in our forest. We call them the soft hardwoods. You can see at the edges here, they're toothed or serrated. You see how the jagged edge is? That's the red maple. And it doesn't get its name from being red in the fall. It actually gets its name red because of its red flowers in late February. Now, another characteristic of maples is their back or color on their back. We turn this one over and you notice it's a silver look. This is a silver maple. Kind of a trash tree. People used to plant them as yard trees. They were cheap and you could get them in parade magazine and all over. They grow fast. They have a lot of issues and the wood is brittle, subject to storm damage. So that's the sh uh, silver maple, which you may find in your woods, especially on the edges or around old home places. The next one is the southern sugar maple. The sugar maples grow throughout our forest too. And you notice that the margins of the leaf are smooth. There are no teeth at all. They're not serrated, they're smooth. They can be yellow, they can be orange in the fall. Different colors, of course, depends on the weather. So you have the sugar maple with the smooth margins, the silver maple with the silver back, and the red maple with the serrated edges or tooth margins. Very common maples that you'll find in your woods. This is Red Davis with the North Carolina Tree Farm Program.